everyone, I'm back with a 7 day 7 looks video and I'm seeing so many videos about fall and fall fashion and that's why I wanted to bring a video that feels a little bit more like summer because I don't know where you live and what climate it is or what temperature but here in Belgium it is pretty warm, we are having some days of 25 degrees and I am pretty happy because we didn't have a good summer but normally September isn't like that and seeing so many videos about fall and fall fashion makes me feel like I shouldn't be happy with the summer and that I should be wanting to wear clothes that feel a little bit more like fall so that's why I wanted to make this video to tell myself that I can still wear summery clothing and also just to bring to people who are experiencing warmer climates right now because I feel a lot of the times I see videos about summer trends or fall trends in a season that it isn't summer or that isn't fall and then you're always waiting for the next season and i know that is how fashion works like you have to look forward to the next season to the next trend and always feel like you're missing out but i haven't had the chance to wear a lot of summery clothing because it was that bad in summer, like this dress I hadn't had the chance to wear so I'm very happy I can do it right now it's a very flowy dress, uh, it's very big, it's from cotton it feels maybe a little bit more like fall but it feels very much like summer for me to be in this dress, it feels like summer I am especially grateful that I can wear this skirt for a bit because I got this in a thrift store a couple of weeks ago but then you could see in my previous video that I ripped it in the washing machine because it absorbed all my clothes in the washing machine and the pressure made it rip so I had the chance to sew it so you can see a little horizontal line uh, on top of it so that's where the rip was so i just pulled the garments together and sew a horizontal line so i don't think it's that visible or it's not that bad i feel like it fits in with the style of the dress and i really like this with the black uh, this bag for example is a drifted bag that i think goes nicely with its outfits I am not sure if I would wear this um, skirt with color, but I would like to experiment with it because I have been wearing it just with black. I also think it would be nice with a graphic tee to make it a little bit more casual. That is something that I like in my closet. Most of my clothes are just plain, but I noticed when I buy something that is more casual, like a graphic tee or something that feels a little bit more sporty, I do wear it a lot. Not because I wear that most of the time, but just because I don't have it. So I think I might want to look out for a graphic tee for skirts like this and to dress them a bit down. And this is the nicest detail, the little see-through um, flowers in the middle. On Wednesday I wore this combination, it is just a cotton t-shirt and a cotton skirt and they are from this jersey material so they are very stretchy and very comfortable. I feel like this is a perfect outfit when you want to wear sweats but you want to feel a little bit more fancy because it feels very comfortable but because the t-shirt is a t-shirt dress and then the skirt is long it creates this interesting silhouette and then I paired it with some thrifted heels and a thrifted bag. They are both brown so I think that also adds a little bit more of a pulled together look, something you can go out in and you don't feel like you're too casual. I also had this bucket hat laying around and I want to get some more wear out of it because I didn't wear it this summer but I never know if I have to wear it just down or up I also don't think it goes with this outfit, it's a bit too casual, I like to wear this hat when I wear pants, I don't know what it is, but um, I'm more comfortable with pants and a bucket hat than with this outfit. On Thursday I wore my Gus jeans and my thrifted shirt, this is also something I thrifted 
last month and then I also wore a necklace that I thrifted. Uh, you can't really see it here but it is this we see apple blue sea green i don't know how you describe the color in english uh, but that is the word we use in flemish how to describe this color apple blue sea green because it is something between blue and green the shirt i want to crop because um, it is a little bit too big and i want to alter it on the back because it is a little bit out of proportion right here but i still wear it how it is right now and i think i will only alter it next summer when i'm sure i want to alter it i like to wait with altering clothes but because you never know if you're going to do something wrong with it and then i paired it with these heels uh, these are from another stories and the bag is thrifted and the jeans I actually bought in January and I haven't worn a lot, but they are my favorite, although I haven't worn them a lot. And here you can see the necklace a bit better. On Friday, I had to go to a party with the dress code black which was unfortunate because it was very hot that day uh, but I managed with this outfit the top is also from another stories and it's very flowy and then the skirt is a thrifted skirt that is from Kenzo I haven't worn it a lot but I love it a lot but I think it's a little bit too big even with these high heels it floats on the ground so I might alter it or I might buy um, heels that are a little bit bigger uh, but what is special about this skirt is that it has a zipper on it so you can make it into a straight line skirt or something that has a little bit more flow in it and does make a ton of noise uh, that is a disclaimer if you are looking for this skirt it is in this um, material that also is for like against the rain I don't know how to call that uh, so it makes that kind of noise, if you know what I mean. I also have a new bracelet, you can see it on my left arm. I got it in a store in Ghent. It is uh, a store that was full of crystals and this one is amethyst. It's this purple kind of color and it is because we watched a documentary about crystals and there is this big store i actually am going there soon again because uh, they have also a lot of stone that you can put on a hanger and i think that will be nice as well on saturday i had a very laid back day so i wore a very laid back outfit uh, this sweater i actually got recently on vintage so you will see it soon in my thrift haul of all the things that i bought in september I, it's the only thing i got so far in september but i have some things i got on vintage that have yet to arrive and i'm very excited about them and then I paired it with this green tote bag and I actually like them together, they are both green and also both a very bright green but still totally different. Sunday was another laid back day and I was really thinking what are the items that I didn't have the chance to wear in summer and what items can I wear right now or what are the items that I want to get some more use out of because I know these are the last beautiful days and then I will go back to wearing jeans and sweaters for most days. So these trousers I didn't get to wear a lot. They are a little bit see-through, but with this button-up it doesn't really is noticeable and I really like them together because the button-up and the trouser are a little bit different in color, so it feels very casual. I think when you buy a set that is just the same color, it sometimes can feel a little bit too done up maybe, and I like it when it feels a little bit um, smashed together if that makes sense like you didn't put a lot of effort or thought in it so it feels a little bit more casual um, which is maybe a stupid idea because I do 
think about what I'm going to wear, but I still like it to feel like I didn't. And then I wore the same bag I wore a couple of days ago. I think this bag reminds me of the Miu Miu bags because it feels so sturdy. It is a thick leather and it has the, these details in it. Uh, I have to do something about the strap. It's very long uh, and I want to shorten it. But because it's such a quality bag, I am not sure how I'm going to do it. But um, the solution I have now is not great. So that was everything, thank you so much for watching and if you want to watch some more I have some other 7 day 7 looks videos and I probably will be back with a full video.